High school students across the region are developing leadership skills that empower you in St. Joseph. KQ2's Danielle Soxy shares what high school students are learning to become leaders in their community. The E2 Fellowship Program at Empower You brings together teachers and students from around the region to help students learn more leadership skills that they can take back to the classroom. I came to Empower You so that I could grow leadership skills and just get to meet people around the area who care about their community and their schools as much as I do and get ideas on ways to improve both my school and community. Designed to enhance student leaders so they can make an impact in their school communities, the E2 Fellowship Program is establishing skill sets among high schoolers throughout the region. Our ultimate goal for these students is to make them realize that they can make an impact and make a difference. I've attended different academies and public speaking and leadership stuff like that, but nothing where I've gotten to work this in depth with multiple days, stuff like that. One school traveling from Bedford, Iowa to enhance their leadership skills. It's a great opportunity. I feel like we, multiple kids can invo get involved in these activities. Nally wanting to learn how to balance multiple activities and become more responsible. I want to learn more of that. It kind of gets rushed with all everything in school and sports and all kinds of activities and just become more responsible with everything and get more organized with it. The way they put a big emphasis on having fun as well as learning and learning how to teach others and I like the way that the adults and kids are on the same level. The last time we were here we got a grant for this and it's really helping our community and our school district by making the, using that money to better ourselves, better our community. After the program is complete, each school has the opportunity to apply for a $10,000 grant that they can take that money and better the learning environment in their school. Reporting, Danielle Soxie, KQ2 News.